So we found a bunch of flags here. Oh, there's so many flags. Let's start naming them. Ready? Italy, right? Are you sure that's Italy? I'm positive. Right? Okay, yeah. I get confused between... Ireland. I get confused between Italy and Mexico and Ireland. That's Italy because the Mexico one has like an emblem right here. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. And then this is Ireland and this is... um. Another one. I think those, <laughs> those look like state flags. Yeah, these don't. Okay. Oh, wait. What's this one? United States Navy. Ooh, Navy. And then there's. I thought it was in the Navy. And then there's the American flag. Army. And then this this one in the center is the Pennsylvania flag. Is it really? Yeah. I never knew what our flag looked like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, yeah, anyways, people. there's a bunch of different countries in the world, a bunch of different states in the world. Or in the country. In the country. And so everyone kind of has their own language. Yeah. I mean, mine's pretty awesome. English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everyone doesn't speak English. So if they're trying to write something, it might be kind of difficult. Yeah, and they'll probably be like, what? How what? do I write this? So there's this bilingual writing center. What? No mm -hmm. way. Can I go and learn how to like write in like Chinese? I'm not sure. We can find out that information in this interview, so let's go check it out. Go check it out, guys. Hi, I'm Brianna, and I'm here with Ms. McGuire to talk about the new Bilingual Writing Center here in Nightstown. So, hi, Ms. McGuire. It's nice being here with you today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, what is, it, what is the Bilingual Writing Center? Um, this is something that uh, we created at Sakate. Sakate is a community center at 329 East Main Street that serves the Latino community. It's an acronym that actually stands for Center for Art, Culture, Training, and Education. Um, and they host a variety of classes. And this is something that we thought would be good to get more high school students down to the center. Wow. So who started this? Um, there's a man named Obed who um, does a lot of work in the community. He was actually at conferences translating. Um, he's a professor. He uh, teaches art, graphic design at a couple of colleges in the area. Um, he's originally from Mexico City, but once he moved to the area, he wanted to start um, working with the kids in Norristown. Wow, okay. So is it just a writing center, or is it separate from like another group, like a community center as well? It's a big community center. Uh, they have a variety of classes. It's open from 4, probably until as late as 9 o'clock. Uh -huh. um, every day of the week, except for Wednesday. Um, and then they have classes for adults on Saturday. Wow, okay. So how do students get involved with this um, community center? All you would have to do is go down. Um, they service about 60 families. Wow. And um, Obed did a lot of work in the elementary and middle schools. Most of the kids who go there are younger. Mm -hmm. um, now that I've got involved, um, we're trying to recruit more high school kids. Okay. So the writing center really is for older kids. There's a full computer lab with printers and internet. And um, what you would do is come with your assignments from your teachers, and then um, I would kind of tutor you through the writing. So how did you get involved? Um, I met Obed through translating at conferences. And um, I have a scholarship foundation for the undocumented students who go to our school. And we kind of connected on that level. Okay. And then when I went down to the community center, um, he's a very dynamic person, and he can kind of like rope you into doing a lot of volunteer work. Mm -hmm. So I realize you just mentioned that you guys have uh, what laptops, printers, and what other type of resources do you have at this community center? Um, there's all kinds of art supplies. They have a gym. The classes are um, range everything from math support to um, dance, music, wow. physical fitness, first aid, um, graphic design, art. And actually, a lot of the former students who went here are now teachers there. Wow. So, uh, so I'm assuming he's not doing this alone since you just said that he has other teachers. He's got a like whole a staff. Mm -hmm. Wow. And interns from local colleges like Cabrini, Penn, Eastern, Monco. Oh, that's great. So are these people being paid to run this situation? No, the whole staff is volunteer. And the funding to keep the center going is all done through fundraising. It's a nonprofit. Wow. Well, that's great. Do you know... Um, Okay, so you said that uh, they're not paid at all. That no. That was all through fundraising. What type of things do they do to fundraise? Um, they have a big arts dinner once a year where they raise probably a third of what goes to keep their yearly um, like functioning costs going. 
and um, they have a board. So the board members also do individual fundraising. And they also have small things like garage sales. They have um, English classes for adults that they have to pay for. And they're actually now starting Spanish classes for um, like people who only speak English so that mm -hmm. they can learn Spanish. That's really well. So is the, I know you said that the, um, the community center is open from almost like four to nine every day, but Wednesday, is the writing center have the same hours or is that different? The writing center is only Mondays mm -hmm. every other week and it's from 5.30 to 6.30. Okay. So um, I'll be posting at the high school the days, the dates for two months in a row so people don't get confused with the every other week. All right, well, is there anything else that you wanted to add? Um, just for if anyone has assignments for school, the first date is, I just wanna get it right, January 26th. Okay. So um, just come with your assignments and I can help walk you through it. Okay, well it's nice, um, it's been nice talking to you, Ms. McGuire, I'm glad to have you here. And um, that was me, uh, Brianna Wright, and Ms. McGuire talking about the Bilingual Learning Center. Back to the Eagle's Eye.